Welcome to the unboxing of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 5G. On the left side, we have the Redmi Note 10 5G. Okay. On the top, we have nothing. And on the right side, we have the same thing as on the left. And at the bottom of the phone, we have everything about the phone, including what's in the box, as well as the IMEI number, you know, stuff that we really don't care about. So let's open the box now. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing we're greeted with is designed by Redmi. That looks really nice. Okay. Under that, we have the phone itself. Okay. We're going to put that to the side. I look inside the pack. In the pack, we have the paperwork. We have the warranty card as well as the user manual. And then under that, we have the case itself. It's a you know, rubber TPU case. I'm gonna put that to the side. We're gonna put the phone to the side again. Underneath that, we have the USB-A to Type-C cable. Then we also have the charger. It's an 18 watt fast charger included in the box. That's pretty sweet. Okay, and now the moment you've been waiting for the phone itself, let's get the wraps off it. Ooh. Okay, I can say that it feels really nice to hold. Okay, so the very first thing I noticed is how lovely it feels to hold this phone. It feels like it's made of glass, but it's not, it's plastic. I love the, the gradient. It's the gray version. I think the graphite gray, yeah. Okay, on the right side, we have the fingerprint sensor as well as the volume up and down keys. On the left side, we have the SIM card tray. On the top, we have the headphone jack and the IR blaster. And at the bottom, we have the microphone USB Type-C as well as the main speakers. On the front, we have an earpiece as well as the front facing camera. Let's boot it up. We are greeted into MIUI 12. It took a little while for it to set up, but not too long, probably two-ish minutes to set the phone up. But once I set it up, I just had to adore the phone. So it's a triple camera setup with the main sensor being 48 megapixels. And on the front, its display is actually 1080p. And it also has a 90 Hertz refresh rate. So right off the bat, those are like really nice, you know, features to have on a smartphone. But one thing I noticed was out of the box, it came with 60 Hertz. So I actually had to go over to, you know, the settings and display to change it from 60 Hertz to 90 Hertz. So again, yeah, 90 Hertz is definitely smoother than 60 Hertz. I really can't wait to test all of the, you know, the features of this phone from the cameras to the display to the performance because it spots a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset, you know, and that's why, you know, 5G is able to run on this smartphone. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, 5G isn't readily available, but hopefully, you know, in the next couple of years, 5G would, and I can't wait to test that out. Now this phone has four gigabytes of RAM, as well as 128 gigabytes of storage. So that's a lot of storage, which can still be expanded. I don't know, there's so many things I wanna test out, I can't wait to test out. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like, subscribe because the review is coming soon, as well as, you know, a bunch of other content. Uh, just subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll see you when you see me.